What's going on everyone? I'm Steven and today we're looking at Southern University versus Jackson State University. Both bands are going to be playing their versions of The Hills from 2015. The footage you're going to see in here is courtesy of Killer Kev Productions. There'll be a link in the video description below as well as in the cards at the top. Be sure to go watch the original video so you can see it without any of my interruptions. This request is from a bunch of viewers. The viewers are AJ, Carmaine for Maya Inc, <laughs> Carter B, and Charlie. The last Southern and Jackson video I did was when they both played their versions of Holy Grail. There was a link to a form that allowed you all to score the bands just like I did. Here are the scores. On the left are the scores that I gave, and on the right is the average of the scores that you all gave. If you want a closer look, pause the video. But as you can see, the people scores are close to what I said. But the bottom line is Southern prevailed in both charts. This is a comparison battle video, which means that it is broken down into three parts. The intro, midsection, and finale. We will hear one band play its intro, then the other, and so on and so forth. Let's get into it. This is the jukebox from Southern University going toe to toe with the Sonic Blue of the South from Jackson State University performing their versions of The Hills from 2015. Up first, Southern. Let's go.
Let's break down the scores that I gave. We have five categories, which are arrangement, balance, dynamics, power, and performance. The scale I'm using is zero to 10. Zero is complete and 10 is complete awesomeness. For arrangement, Southern gets an eight and JSU gets a nine. Both bands had parts that I did like. Southern's was nice, but I think that JSU had the edge on the arrangement, hands down. For me, it was the middle section. Southern had a tuba break and had this cool part where JSU didn't have a tuba break, they just played this big cranking ballad part that was just freaking awesome. So JSU gets the edge on arrangement. For balance, it's a nine for both. I'm gonna say that back in 2015, both bands was slightly more balanced than more recently. I could even hear the woodwinds from both bands on the soft part. So overall, great balance and blend from both bands. For dynamic, Southern gets an eight and JSU gets a nine. Southern did have great distinction between the piano and forte parts and it had great articulation throughout each section in the band. JSU just gave me more contrast. Their pianos were quieter and their fortes were louder. For power, both bands get a 10. Loud as hell from the jukebox and loud as hell from the boom. For performance, it's also a 10 for both. Both bands played together, in tune, look good in the stands, and I enjoyed listening to both songs. That brings the total score to Southern 45 and JSU 47. So was it the jukebox or the boom? What are your thoughts on these arrangements? Did you have a favorite part? Or a favorite section? Do you agree with the scores I gave? Or do you not? Let me know. Comment down below. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you have a video that you would like for me to react to, please fill out and submit the request form and I promise I'll make it happen. The link to the request form is located at the top of the description box down below. If you like this video, hit the like button and please leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Peace out.